some people I, I'll just comment on a, on something that's going on on the on the uh, on the um, on the chat. Some people conflate the idea in this world. It, it, they 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 some the certain people can only think in two dimensions. You can only be a leftist or a rightist. So if you're against the right, you're by definition a left, and if you're against the left, you're by definition a right, and People like that can't actually place objectivism because objectivism in the political map today is neither left nor right. As I've often said, the real political line is between collectivism and individualism. It has nothing to do with left or right. Left and right today are both collectivist. You can be, shockingly, I know this is a shock to some people, you can be both anti-left and anti-right at the same time by being pro-individualism by being pro-capitalism, by being pro-freedom, you would actually, by definition, be anti-left and anti-right at the same time. So you cannot be an objectivist and a leftist. But they conflate objectivism with left because objectivists don't go get all excited by supporting the right. So they, since they can only think in dualities, you either left or right, and you're not pro-right, so you must be pro-left. And, you know, get over it, guys. Get over it. And, 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 and uh, you know, start thinking, using your mind. It's there for a purpose. And get away from the tribalism and the kind of dual thinking, this duality that Ayn Rand talks a lot about, you know, objectivism is not intrinsic, it's subjective. We're not, you know, we're objective. A two-party system doesn't define who you are and what you are. There's a two-party systems, both a collectivist, doesn't mean you're for this or for that. I'm against both. The fact that there's a two-party system doesn't change the fact that I reject both, as Ayn Rand did. Ayn Rand was often critical of the right and of the left and often didn't vote in elections. And sometimes, I think when she was younger, voted for the left because the right was so abhorrent to her. So you, you've got to make decisions about individual rights, about freedom, about liberty, not about left or right, about liberty, not about Republicans versus Democrats. Now we can disagree about which path goes towards liberty. But the fact that we disagree about which path goes to liberty and you don't agree with me does not make me or anybody else in this chat a leftist, doesn't make us, if you're, if you're arguing from a different perspective, a rightist, objectivist. Politics is not the politics of the right. Objectivist politics is the politics of individualism. And if the right is not individualistic, as it's not today, then... Daniel asks, Yaron, you're making the absurd proposition that the left and right are both statists. Yeah, they are. Uh, might one even call them mystics of various kinds? Yeah, both of them. Having non-fundamental disagreements with one another? Yeah, absolutely. And they're both altruistic in the sense that they both believe in the sacrifice of the individual to some collective goal. They just have different collective goals. They're both mystics. One worships Mother Earth and one worships Father in the skies, right? And they're both wrong on, on, on issue after issue after issue. Both. Two people both disagreeing with one another and being wrong. This is the thing about the world. There are multiple ways in which you can be wrong. Multiple ways. An infinite number of ways. There's only one way of being right. But there are lots of ways of being wrong. And that's what we're seeing today. We're seeing left and right being wrong. And objectivism, I think, is right and has a right view of politics. And neither one of those views is, rep in any of the objectivist views are represented by left or right. So how can I be pro-right when my views are not being represented in the right? How can I be pro-left when my views are not represented in the left? I'm neither right nor left. And I know, I know, these are hard concepts because we're so trained to think in dualities and we're so trained 
to think in tribes and in collectives and in groups and in belonging. And we don't belong anyway. And I know that's hard. It's lonely. And, and, and this issue of the stimulus, by the way, is a good example. I mean, Republicans and Democrats are going to vote for this. The right and the left are going to vote for it. It's, it's crazy to spend $1.4 trillion on top of $4 trillion you've already spent. And we've, we've spent $4 trillion, by the way, because both left and right wanted to. The right didn't stand up for capitalism. Trump didn't veto stimulus bailout bills. And we've been running trillion-dollar deficits during Trump administration. Is that a right I can support? Support. No. I can't support the left either because they want to run $2 trillion deficits. So I've got two evils, and it's such a level of evil that I'm not sure there's a less of two evils. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.